my name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Dead Cells. We've picked up our money, and we're on our way from misery to happiness to be. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Ah, it's not okay, I can't take a hit in the first couple seconds of the episode. It's okay, I just won't take a bunch more, he says, as he takes a bunch more. Alright, fine. No more damage, right? I've decided. That was the end of the damage. That was me just showing off the uh, the hit animations. I was damage boosting, actually. It's a very, very sincere speedrun tactic. I'm not going to do the green shield yet. Can you stop facing me? Good lord. Okay. Not seeing any runes hidden in the walls yet. Uh, we'll start with health, thank you very much. Just because health allows me to make a lot of mistakes, and let's be honest, I'm me, so I'm going to be making a lot of mistakes. Uh, yes. Twin daggers? Ooh, -hoo. damage dealt too. Damage received, too. Because yeah. this is going to do enough damage, I think, that this is going to be fine to use as a weapon. Because if it automatically targets, surely it has to do low damage to make up for that. But no, it's doing twice as much damage, so... I can, I, I can see this build. I just build all of my HP, and then I worry about this. I worry only about my HP. My damage takes care of itself. Uh, yeah. No, I don't want that. In fact, skill is like the last thing that I want. It will contribute nothing to me. What are you? Poison the victim? Okay. There's an ice bomb over here. Which I should be so lucky as to have. Yuck. Does nothing. And... Throwing knife one? Man, a lot of these are really uninspiring. See, I would be able to interact with this. Because you can see it can be interacted with. This is me continuing the conversation from the last episode where I thought I found a rune, or rather the opportunity to gain a rune that would be... letting me interact with that. Okay, so we can skip to the toxic sewers by the ability that we have. Oh, okay, that is actually the intended way out of it. Oh. Uh, buggered it up. I thought I was just going to discover a different place down here, but no, I accidentally went straight out. Cool. So it looks like the idea is to go to the condemned promenade, or the promenade of the condemned, rather. In order to get the vine rune, and then go down to the toxic sewers and... <laughs> There's something very satisfying about Time? 18 seconds! I spent too long considering my mortality Yeah, I don't do really any damage here. So I guess the idea is that I can go to the Promenade of the Condemned before I come to this area. 
So that looks like I would teleport directly across. Cool. Uh, so I guess the idea is that I could go to the Promenade of the Condemned before I come to this area in order to get more powerful, to get more prepared to come to this area. I don't know. So it's kind of like how you can skip a lot of the early levels in... Like Spelunky, you can take shortcuts to the end game content, but then you won't have any items to keep you alive while you're there, right? You still want to go through the early game to prepare you for the late game. Or less so, kind of like Dungeon, how you can go straight to one of the end areas and you'll be given a few guns, but it's not going to be enough. Oh, right. Hello. I didn't even see you there the first time. Okay, maybe I do need a damage up because when I actually have to use my base weapon, I'm kind of screwed. No! Okay, that was really rough. Yeah, I'm dead. That was really rough because I was going towards the archer and the spawning animation of the scorpion was not really showing that the scorpion was there yet. So I ended up getting hit. Also, this is here now. Hello. You can't fool me. I've been looking to the left side every single time to see if it was going to show up. Uh, this is a strange place. This is going to be very pretty when it's done. It's your doing, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes, of course you're working on it. Like all the rest, I guess. Whoa, hello. I know what you've done. Yes, I know all your little secrets. I've been noting it down in my little book. That's my job. You've been killing things, I see. Oh, right, 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 got it. So that's our stats. Yeah, stop hitting me at the start of a run. It's not okay. I want to say I'm better than this, but all evidence is to the contrary. Oh, baby. The blueprints are real. Got him. Punked him right out. Double roll. Back and forth. Couldn't do anything about it. Those enemies. Uh, sure. I'll take a skill, even though I don't want it. So I've got a carrot down there. I guess I should probably just take that right now, because I don't really want to have to backtrack to this area. Eh. Can we have a curse treasure? Been a while. It's been a while since I had a curse treasure of my own. Yo, I'm not going to take that greed, so feel free to take it back yourself. Sturdy shield neither. Okay, so this is just the electric whip. So it's not the lightning that I've been so used to in the pre-alpha. What are you? Just a normal ice grenade. I do love that their tooltip shows up for a while after you pick it up. That's really, really handy. Because especially in the heat of battle, I typically just pick things up and run the fuck away immediately. So I don't really get too much time to examine it. Even there, it was a slow time. I had downtime. And I still didn't want to examine it yet. I didn't want to slow down. Just the pace of the gameplay really, really kind of beats into you the idea of just going and going and going and going and going. Almost missed out on a scroll of power down here. Uh, I think I'll take health and I'm going to rely on getting a better weapon for upgrading my damage. Come on, just be a platforming challenge. I can do that. 
Luck be a lady tonight. Let's go. Nope. Kill all enemies and don't get hit. So I'm screwed. Eh. 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 Yep, that was rough. I uh, was even turning around for the roll as well. Thank you for the health, but I was really hoping for, you know, damage. That's our twin daggers. Oh, damage dealt times two! Yes! Okay, now it's really, really good that I've got double health on my uh, on two of my options. Because we're going to be dealing twice as much damage. Our crits are going to crit people off of the face of this fucking universe. <laughs> oh, baby. I love it. Let's go straight to the toxic sewers. Every single option that I get, I'm going to go for HP. Come on, sewers. Mm. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. What do we got? Ooh, horizontal turret. I can now actually unlock that. I feel like I should. Horizontal turret was kind of OP. I say kind of. It was pretty ridiculously OP, actually. Oh. Okay. And it does extra damage as well. Well, 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 aren't I a happy chappy? So as long as I don't take too much damage to... Uh... To non-enemies, I'm talking like, you know, environment hazards and things like that. I should be really, really fine with this build. Because we... It's very glass cannon, but to be fair... Most of the characters I end up playing in roguelikes tend, or rather, most of my favorite characters in roguelikes, 27 seconds, yikes, uh, tend to be the glass cannon characters. Damn it. Oh, it does work! So I'll take this. Okay, I can't really map this well because there doesn't seem to be like a linear map going on here. It seems very all over the place. Not that that's bad. When I say all over the place, wow, yikes. Let's go down here and deal a bunch of damage so that I can try and rally some of this back up. Okay, I'm going to have to drink now because there's no way I was going to be able to rally that back up, unfortunately, since there was no one around. No one around. No one around. No one around. No! That's exactly what I didn't want. Exactly that. Unfortunately, I froze on that. That was my mistake. Okay, I got a lot of my HP back there. What? That's a link to the... Old... This might be back to the collector? If it is, I'm very pleased. It looks like it is. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna get some of my health back. Uh, that's not the biggest amount of loot that I really could have got. I'm gonna actually put this into the horizontal turret. And then the rest into this. That's obviously not the largest amount of loot I possibly could have gotten, but the HP, I really, really do like the build that we have with the daggers. And I feel like if I let that get away from me, I'd feel really poorly about it. Okay. 
Is this on the same? Okay, hang on. No, this is not counted as the same map as before. <gasps> Curse treasure. Hey, you there? Open me. Now, before the cursed treasures we found, I'm actually not going to open it, just so you know. Because I'm really, really intrigued to continue playing this specific character. But the cursed character, uh, the curse treasures that we found, the I was behind you! That is the lamest, lyingest shit of all time. I so mad. Uh, yeah, the cursed treasures we found before were very much along the lines of kill 10 enemies without taking a hit or you die. So for 10 enemies, anything can kill you. This looks like it's a secret that I need to move into. Hmm... Carry. Money. Money, 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 money. Money. I didn't mean to do that, actually, just so you're aware. I balls that up. Well, that fucking sucked. Don't do that. Don't do that, Ryan. Seems like good advice from me to me. Let all of those resolve. I'll come back here and take HP. Thank you very much. <laughs> How'd you know I was going to take HP? Just going to watch these juke it out for a while and see who wins. Okay, so that's who wins. Now who's next? You decide. Get him. Okay, plus one skills. Eh, no. No. Shots pierce the first target is actually pretty good. You get gold when you get a dead cell from an enemy, drop an enemy, uh, drop a thing when you hit. Eh. Poison the victim, volley of. Fire a volley of arrows. Yeah, no, ours. Ours is still a lot better than that. Obviously, that would. The other ones, rather, would uh, reduce the amount of damage that we're taking. But that's not the point of the build. The point of the build is the glass cannon. Come on. Ha! Ah, shit! Can't believe I didn't get hit there. Alright. Plus one health on the grenade. Yes! Get him. I'll be taking that money. Come back when I got some money, buddy. Ooh, HP. And this is poison's enemies that hit you. Yum. I'll be coming back. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. I am definitely going to be... Oh, don't tempt me. Come on, do. Turns out I'm going to be coming back a lot sooner than I thought I was going to be. Yikes. Thank you. Cool. Um, yeah, that was really rough. They kind of just like pinned me into a corner there. And I kept doing the thing where I wanted to get behind and it wasn't really registering me as behind in a way that was kind of frustrating. I'm obviously not gonna get this amulet anymore. Thankfully I still won because I've now got another amulet. So that one's worth a lot less to me now. So instead of saving up to get that amulet, I'm just gonna 
make my way downtown. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's not even going to work. Oh, shit! Yeah, I'm dead. I just got staggered. Staggered out of existence instantly. Okay, so we got a little bit of money there to work with. Not an incredible amount, I'll assure you. What's it, 500 here? Yeah, 513. Okay, so there is just that one blueprint, and we still need to unlock a hell of a lot more of them. But we do have the horizontal turret not only unlocked, but leveled up to level 2. Over the course of the next episode, I have to imagine I'm going to be going for that second charge in the Estus, so that we can keep ourselves alive, uh, rather than having to rely on the kindness of strangers and shops in order to keep us around. For the moment, though, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Dead Cells. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.